three children. One child, sadly, is unaccounted for and has been found at this time. One person was taken to the hospital and, as far as we know right now, is stable. I want to thank all of the different agencies that have been helping us. The cause of the fire is under investigation at this time with assistance from the DA's office, Marion Ryan's office, the Department of Fire Services, the Massachusetts State Police, Lowell Police Department. Thank you. Could you speak a little bit about the, the circumstances regarding what, you know, how you guys were able to make rescues? And the mayor spoke with us a few minutes ago. He said that there was a babysitter that was with those children. Can you elaborate on some of those details? I can't elaborate on the details about a babysitter. Many of those things are still under investigation at this time. Um, when the fire companies arrived, they used a combination of ground ladders and the aerial ladder to take the people off of the third floor porch. And uh, engine seven and car three were out of service today due to a brownout. Uh, what was the reason for that? Uh, that was a staffing. Staffing? Yes. So do you think if those engine that engine was in service that could have made a difference here for this fire no the first do engine and ladder were uh available and on arrival right away so that was where the uh, resources counted thank you chief you said one person treated in the hospital was that with the adult or with the children an adult any resources for the, the family i know that there's a, a lot of people displaced right now um, you know how many people are, are with homeless as a result of this so there's over 10 as of right now and the red cross is working with them was everyone who lives in that top floor of the home home when this happened we don't believe they were uh but um we don't have all of that information right now it's still part of the investigation chief have you spoken with the family of the young child that is still missing I have not had an opportunity to speak to them yet, no. The investigators are working with them now. Can you talk about this building, the layout, uh, what you know of who was living there? Uh, that is all still part of the investigation. I cannot elaborate on that. I'm sorry, sir, but to clarify, you said she has been found, right? Yes. So just to clarify, she's deceased? Yes, that is correct. Is that her name is Sally? No. Any identification will come from the district attorney's office at a later time. I know that, you know, first responders never like talking about this, but this can't be an easy night for your staff. Uh, the ladies and gentlemen of the Lowell Fire Department did a tremendous job. They were asked to act very, very quickly, uh, and um, I'm very proud of them. They, they've done a good job, and they did it in a very, very fast time frame. Uh, when you make a rescue, the seconds count, and uh, they definitely performed today. Were all the rescues from the third floor? One from the first, uh, and uh, four from the third floor balcony. Do you know how many people have been displayed? Uh, so at, at least 10, and um, we're still trying to get final numbers on that. Any other questions? Thank you. We've been listening to the fire chief in Lowell who just clarified the terribly sad news that a four year old girl who had been missing all afternoon was found dead as a result of that fire. Uh, there were a number of rescues. There were three children and two adults rescued from this fire on Maud Street. Uh, the person who is hospitalized, the chief says, is in stable condition. Uh, just a devastating night in Lowell. The mayor there speaking with our Christina Rex, uh, just sharing the sympathy of the city for the family who lost this little girl. Uh, Christina will stay on scene. We'll have much more tonight on WBZ News at 11 and on our